Let's try this one more time. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as we were talking about before, the main important thing when looking at a system of three variables is we need to break it down into two equations that only have two variables. All right, so in this one, we got a little help because we have one equation that only has one that only has two variables. So I'm going to immediately label that a. So I'm going to write a over here, which is y minus 5z equals negative 3. So remember, our main goal is to take our three equations, or whatever equations we have, and to write them down to two equations. Because when you have a system with only two equations and two variables, we can use elimination. We can use substitution um, to solve for our two variables. That's something that hopefully should be a little bit easier for you. So now what we're looking at is I have two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And what I want to do is I want to create another equation from these two that only has the variables y and z. So what that means is I need to eliminate the x between these two equations. So I'm going to use elimination. So I'm going to add them together. Now, if I add them together right now, will I eliminate the x? No, I'll have negative x, right, if I was just to add them as is. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to multiply them or divide them by a multiplier. There's multiple different ways to do this. The best way I like to do it is get them so I like to multiply them by a multiplier that's going to have a positive and a negative value. So then when I add them, I get 0x, which will cancel out the variable. However, you can like divide one by the other. You can get them so they're both positive and then use subtraction. But I like to have a positive and a negative and then to add. So if I have a positive and negative, that means I particularly would like to get a positive 2 up there. right? So the only way to get a positive 2 is you have to multiply x by 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 2, and I'm going to multiply 2 times the whole front equation. Therefore, my equation now, 1, is 2x minus 2y plus 6z equals 6. And then equation 2 is going to remain the same, where I did not change anything with the change equation 2. All right. So when I do that, what happens is I add these up, and I end up getting um, this becomes 0, 0, 0 equals 12. Right? So I get 0 equals 12. And is that possible? No. no. You can't have that. So when we were talking about when we had two equations, what happens when we got something like this? What do we call our solution? No solution, right? We said, oh, there's no solution at all. So the same thing's going to happen if we take our two equations and we end up getting no solution. Well, then we can't have a solution for all equations. Well, you might say, <clears throat> uh, remember, our solution is going to be a part for all three equations. So since we don't have a no solution between these two, our whole equation is just no solution. All right. So there is not a solution for this problem. It's a no solution problem. All right, and that's it. That's all we got to do for that one. Are we doing another one?